So, Dad, now you're going to tell us about electrocuting a team of six horses with a plow. <laughs> Single handed. Don't get that around, okay? <laughs> now, what, 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 the reason it, it came about was that I was talking to Joseph yesterday and I was telling him about when, when I was, when it was uh, younger, we, uh, I was sent out to do uh, shoveling snow and so on because where we lived, you had to supply a certain amount of manpower. And where did you snow. live? In Minnow. Which, and, and, which is which is where? We had, we had to we had to supply two and a half people, but since he was uh, he was uh, the only guy that had six horses for the, for the snow plow, he was and my dad was doing that instead. Okay. No. What but, do you mean? You had to supply two and a half people, but instead today, of. But instead of the two and a half people, you supplied six, a team of six horses? And, and, and a, a driver of a snowplow. Okay. All right. Now, um, so anyway, I didn't see this, but they, 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 they told me about it. That at one point, they, they were, there was so, so much snow that, that at some point the snowplow upended and all turned up and it hit the, hit the wires by, by upending. Which wires? The electric wires, the, you know, the uh, 380. Okay, and what happened? Nothing much. It was just that it was it was automatic. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, trying to deal with that much snow was next to impossible, basically. And uh, at another another point, my mother has been telling me this that they went out shoveling snow 11 days before Christmas. So you mean that they, it was so deep they had to do it then, or that was early, or that it, there was so much they had to take care of it, or they, they shoveled every day? Unusual. Huh? Very unusual to have that uh, much snow, 11 days of, 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 of snow before, before Christmas. Oh. Very, very unusual, sure. Oh, do you recall the story of this coffin that fell through the ice? <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. That was one, that was one my, my daddy told me. That was in the 19... Uh, either very late 20s or very early 1930s. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-o